as Jocelyn St. Clair trying to move it up, unable to do so as it goes to the point. Newman lining up on the point, fires on Cote. Once again, a rebound opportunity as Newman takes it, tries to get it in front again. That goes off the players, and now it goes in. As it goes in, Lauren Kuzak for the Newman Knights on just a gift opportunity. Another rebound left by Catherine Cote, just is able to trick it by with 9.09 remaining. Here in the first period, Newman takes a 1-0 lead. Beautiful setup for Newman on the side. A little bit of a defensive breakdown. As you see, Newman was barely able to sneak that one in. So you go quickly push back all the way to the defensive zone behind the net, but now Megan Hag takes it. Moves into the offensive zone. She also has Maddie Paul with her. Hag has it now in the corner looking for the point. She finds Leslie Jarvis. Jarvis right back to Hag. Hag looks in front. That one shot in front. But now it goes in! And it's Megan Hag as she was able to fire it home. The puck laid in the crease in front of Justina Marr. And Megan Hag finally is able to throw one home. And the Lakers get their first goal of the game on the power play. Well, what's the best way to uh, redeem yourself from a bad penalty is to score. Is to score for your team and tie this game up on the power play. We just, we just established that it's a poor replay. But look at this right here. Marr doing all that she can, hugging the post. They'll try and move it back, but there's Leslie Jarvis in front of the Oswego bench. As she missed on it, but Chelsea Hunt was there to recover. Now Melissa Seaman moves it in. Seaman off the side. She'll fire. That one goes and gets blocked by Marr and goes up and lands right in front of the net. Nobody there for the Lakers. Now Seaman, or Smetana has some minute. Now she scores! Emma Smetanik, Oswego's second overtime winner of the season as she is mobbed in front of the Newman net. And the Oswego State Lakers have Emma Smetanik's first goal of the season to thank them for this overtime victory. What a way to score your first goal of the season, number 14, Emma Smetanik, with an overtime winner. It was a beautiful shot on net for Smetanik. Def definitely a reason to celebrate right now. Her and Melissa Seema were fighting all game for that one for that one score. And, and taking a look at the replay right now, after after Ms. Melissa Seema's slap shot, Smetanik's like, "Excuse me, let me take that one," and she and she shoves it right in the back of the net. So that top line was very successful this entire game. Unable to throw it home though, as Megan Hag had the game tying goal in the third. Emma Smetanik though, with the game-winning goal in overtime.